What's going on guys? So I wanted to do a video just to give a little bit more of a in-depth close-up at the Yamaha Bolt. I hope you enjoyed my last video. If you haven't checked it out already, check it out. Got a nice in-depth discussion with Fat Boy Bob and Black Cloud, two Harley owners. They give their take on this bike. Of course, this is a 2015 Yamaha Bolt. Uh, picked it up with about less than 400 miles on it, believe it or not. And have since put, let's see, have since put, yeah, 200 miles on it. Thereabouts, 200, 300 miles on it. And uh, I have nothing but good things to say about this bike. I love the looks right now. You'll see I got this little saddlebag actually came with the bike and it was here and I've replaced it with this um, I actually forget the brand but it was only a, a hundred bucks on Amazon Willie and Max it's a nine liter I believe it's got a nice magnet and a buckle just enough to put a hydro flask in there and uh, yeah this thing sounds freaking amazing it's got a Cobra exhaust on there that came with the bike I got a smoking deal on it and uh, everything's original um, it does have a flashing uh, light commander on it that I did not install myself I did my own oil change super super easy to change the oil on this I have taken the stickers off as you can see um, I think the paint job is fantastic and for Yamaha to put those horrible graphics on um, the way they did I think that was just really really terrible to have a sticker instead of a painted um, so I took those off I'm still trying to get this caution sticker off and it's not going too well as you can see please don't uh, don't hate me for it but um, what can I say about this bike I will put the specs of the bike right here so you can see that Basically, it's got great suspension. It's got a belt instead of a chain, it's belt drive, and I mean, just no worries maintenance on that. It's got decent suspension, I'd say. I haven't messed with it all that much, but it is remote reservoir. Who knows if there's actually a reservoir in there? Um, this is stock from Yamaha. It looks cool. Um, it's definitely better than other suspensions I've tried, especially the Indian Scout that has horrible suspension. Um, great brakes, disc brakes, no ABS. Um, this did not come factory, but the guy did a nice job of wiring a cigarette lighter so I can't charge my phone. Running the quad lock. This LCD screen, um, you know what, it doesn't bother me at all. I know a lot of people harp on the uh, square peg and a round hole. It doesn't really bother me. You know, I always prefer a needle from uh, original tack but doesn't bother me I love the fat grips the stock mirrors are completely fine we do have LEDs I don't actually know if these are actually LEDs but the brake light is LED um, and they're styled pretty great of course it used to be star those Yamaha's kind of like Harley uh, offshoot and is no longer star the only remnants of star is there and here i think kind of looks cool um, yeah let's hear that exhaust because that is just like the best part about this bike if you ask me is it in neutral let's make sure it's in neutral there is a neutral light there we go
the starter over here on the right side. Kind of hard to find when you're sitting on the bike, but get used to it. Um, good things that I might not have mentioned in the video um, is, of course, the belt drive. Uh, great, great feature. Brakes work fantastic. The paint is actually a lot. This thing is put together really, really nicely. I don't think I really touched on that. I did mention in the other video that the reliability is fantastic. Um, I'm not going to harp on that, but I, you know, I've seen uh, what goes on with some Harley owners. They get brand new bikes, and unfortunately, there's still problems with it. I'm not saying that Harleys are bad bikes. I'm just saying um, they might be a little bit more maintenance than you're used to. Um, this has been nothing but good to me. Of course, I only had it with, got it with 300 miles. I was actually scared that it would be, I was like, what's wrong with this bike? It only has 300 miles on it. It's a 2015. Someone left it sitting forever, which they kind of did. Um, so I checked the oil. I, I ran it. I went through the gears. Everything was fine. And I just said, you know, what? it's a Yamaha. Let's trust it. And it did not wrong me. Brought it home, did an oil change at about 400 miles, 450 miles, and uh, have been enjoying it ever since. Um, the paint is not thin, but it's not amazingly thick either. You can see a couple rough spots here. Um, I don't know if the previous owner had a belt buckle, maybe on the metal there, but Besides that, that's the only thing. There's a little, little tiny bit of pitting on some of the parts here. Um, but the finishes are really nice. Of course, I mentioned that the paint is awesome. The springs are awesome. The exhaust is awesome. I don't know what the stock one sounds like, but I love this one. This tail isn't horrendous, but it could be cleaner. The seat uh, is very comfortable. Um, to a degree it is cupped really heavily and so it kind of pushes you forward um, I'm not a tall guy I'm 5'7 and I can flat foot this thing no problem but I kind of wish I had more wiggle room you don't really have room to slide back like on a standard um, that's you know not any fault of the bike it's, it has the rear seat installed with the rear pegs um, right now it fits just perfectly with that saddlebag this material is fantastic. It actually dries extremely quickly and it's kind of like a neoprene, but a little bit more durable. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. It dries immediately in the hot Florida sun. You can see that uh, Japan marking right on the end here. I love the handlebars. Um, they're nice and thick like the Sportster, like really beefy. However, there is a little bit of slop in here. I don't know if you can see that. This I do not like. I feel like Harley is a little bit better about the feel of it through the bars. Of course, this doesn't have that bevel that the Sportster does. The bike tends to be generally more smooth. It gets up and goes. It's 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 uh, fast to a degree. Of course, it's only five speeds, so you're you're gonna want to be reaching for the other gear but by that time you're getting way too much wind to uh <laughs> want to go any faster the rims are kind of cool i do not like this white wall treatment they have i would like to take this off however it is not a sticker um, as far as i can tell and i would like it just to be all black to kind of complete the look everything else is blacked out why do i have these white white rims it's very interesting. It is pre-wired for a uh, trickle charger. A previous owner, um, before the guy I bought it from, was uh, a cop, as the story goes, and, and he took really good care of it. Obviously did not ride it. We have a lockable gas cab. And I wish this thing would focus better. Yeah, but I don't want to make this uh, too long of a video, but just wanted to give you a little bit of closer view of this bike. Really interesting. You might have seen this in other reviews. It, this thing is all motor, so you're sitting like right on top of this huge 950. Um, this gets super hot. 
it's air cooled what are you going to do um this thing my knee touches if you're you know a little bit taller than me if you're a six footer you're probably going to be really wide legged to be able to accommodate that i get compliments on this thing all the time though i'll tell you what people want to know what is that bike sounds great you know has has the uh desired effect but great reliability um, modern electronics of course no abs but you do have a trip and you have a fuel gauge warning no gear indicator except for the neutral um, yeah this is probably the only yamaha badge on the whole bike Let's hear the horn. Pretty decent, I have to say. And you can change it no problem. Everything feels great, feels solid. <laughs> I think someone just hit me back with the horn. But I wish it just had a little bit uh, more of a solid throttle feel. Throttle response is great, but the it is a little twitchy. Uh, coming off that first gear or trying to kind of coast in a higher gear. I feel like the Harley, because of that bevel, I don't even know what it does, but um, that bevel drive, it just makes cruising, it just wants to be chug along at uh, super low RPM high gear. Uh, this bike is happy to do so, but it doesn't feel as, as at home cruising at those low rpms besides that i'm really excited to make uh, more content for you guys around the bolt of course i had a uh, vit pill in 401 before this go ahead and check out my other vids on that um, i'm having some problems with my pov setup right now so i'm still working on the sound to get that back in working order so POV is coming soon. If you have any requests, please let me know. If you want to know anything on specifics, I will bring it up in the very next video. So comment your questions, thoughts, feelings. Feel free to subscribe or not. And yeah, we'll do one more startup before we leave. There's a startup screen. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm gonna get out of here and can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.